Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Let's say for today's video, Beers Courtesy Hot Butcher for the World. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Proper glassware, also from them. Uh, this is called Snackberry. It's a Citra and Medusa hopped milkshake double IPA brewed with strawberry, pink guava, and vanilla. 7.5% ABV. Uh, it is it's let, just under two weeks old. Uh, time of review, love in my tummy, and I won't read the back, but I'm going to assume it's like the adjuncts are probably um, the descripting notes or, or something similar, but anyway, let's get into it. Great can art. When I did, uh, when I did the unboxing, <laughs> it looks like it has, <laughs> looks like it has fruit in it. Um, I, I just, I raved about uh, Dan Jetsa's artwork, and yeah, I just, I really like his stuff. But anyway, yeah, it looks like super, 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 super dark. Uh, ruby red grapefruit juice actually not even ruby like like yeah just like grapefruit juice uh but like super dark um not i mean there's not much head maybe i didn't even pay attention when i poured it um not much head left um and it's sticking to the glass more than there is in the center so it looks like there's maybe almost half a finger a third of a finger but like it's just barely a skim coat over the liquid itself uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like a fruited something beer. Let's get into the aroma. You definitely get hit, like like their milkshake beers, you definitely get hit with that vanilla. But then you get that um, tropical and the tartness, thanks to the pink guava and the strawberry. I can't, it's not balance, it's just bringing some balance or like a, a, a you know, if, if vanilla's over here on the seesaw, uh, uh, those guys are over here, you know, eh, I hope I'm still on camera. Eh. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Man, now I'm getting, I, and don't get me wrong, the vanilla, the vanilla. Everything else I'm saying is, is secondary at best to the vanilla. That strawberry note is really pleasant. And, and sometimes that strawberry hits just right. It reminds me of those, um, who made them? Was it Hershey? There were suckers and there were strawberry cream. And there were other kinds, maybe only, well, there wasn't too many other kinds, but it's like very, very reminiscent of that. But yeah, the, Guava, it, it, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with guava. I, I really need to, to grab some and re-familiarize myself with it. So for me, it's definitely like this nice tropical thing also fighting through. And it's, I don't know. It, oh, maybe from the hops. I'm like, I actually get some orange in this. But that would make sense given the, it has, what was it, citra, right? And um, Medusa, yeah. Yeah. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Hot Butcher. Very creamy, not surprising there. That, <clears throat> I'm attributing it to the strawberry, maybe it, not appropriately, maybe it's also the pink guava. There's this, with the bitterness of like the hops coming through, there's a little bit of a tart quality. And again, just like the aroma like I was saying with the sea soft, this is not a balanced beer, but, but that these different things are working well to bring some balance to a beer. And, if you're drinking a milkshake IPA thinking you're going to have balance, <laughs> you're an idiot. Um, but I shouldn't say that. But like, I, I I have not met a milkshake IPA that I thought was, that would be balanced like, I don't know, a, a Pilsner or whatever, right? Um, it, it's an interesting word to use with, with beer descriptions. And it can mean different, like it, it, the word means something, but like it can mean spe you know specific things based on style or, or what you're trying to convey. And, and how I'm trying to, you know, talk about balance in this beer would be very different than a, a much softer beer and how I'd use that term. I think that hopefully makes sense. Um, the fruit, it'd be interesting to try one of these that just has the vanilla. Because, um, yeah, I do think the fruit makes this more drinkable than if it was just like a super sweet vanilla IPA, you know? Um, so I, I think that's doing some heavy lifting that I want to make sure I'm giving it credit for or giving both fruits credit for. And yeah, there is some of that like 
orange, and actually a little bit of zestiness uh, coming through. And again, I'm, I'm going to attribute that to the hops being used. And then that tropical thing, it could just be the pink guava, like I said, the aroma, but I could see like some mango, which again could be the citrus, so it could be the hops. But yeah, yeah, again, for like for this style, there are elements that are, are helping bring some balance to it. Um, in a surprise to no one, the adjuncts are, are, are the star of this, the vanilla, the strawberry, and the pink guava. But there are other things coming through, in that, especially in that tropical fruit realm for me. Uh, some of that citrus. Um, the, the trop, the, the, obviously, in terms of intensity, you know, aroma for sure, vanilla. In the taste, I'm probably getting more of the pink guava tropical thing then the vanilla, then the strawberry. Yeah, so let's see their tasting notes. Uh, ripe guava, plump strawberries, and creamy vanilla. Yeah, and that's what I figured. They're going to use the adjuncts. They have three adjuncts. You know, they, they give three descriptors. And if you're like this, it's going to be the adjuncts that are going to be what you're tasting the most. No surprise there. I agree 100%. Uh, but yeah, good beer, tasty beer, fun beer, uh, which is cool. Sometimes it just, you know, have fun with these, right? Uh, but yeah, thanks again, Hot Butcher, for sending it. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews at both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.